Imagine a currency that no government controls, one that exists purely in the digital realm. Welcome to Bitcoin. Launched in 2009, Bitcoin is the most popular type of cryptocurrency, challenging the very notion of money as we know it. Unlike traditional money, Bitcoin operates outside the realm of central banks, but can still be used to buy goods and services where accepted. Instead, it relies on a concept known as decentralization, where every transaction is recorded in a public ledger stored across a global network of computers. The origin of Bitcoin is a bit of a mystery, created by Satoshi Nakamoto, who vanished after introducing Bitcoin in a white paper, Satoshi's true identity remains unknown. Was it a single person or a group of people? In its early days, Bitcoin was nearly worthless. In fact, in 2010, someone bought two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoins, an amount now worth a jaw-dropping $700 million. But what makes Bitcoin so special? Advocates championed its ability to enable instantaneous global transfers with minimal transaction costs. As of 2024, a single Bitcoin is valued at nearly $70,000. Imagine the fortune those two pizzas represent now. At the heart of Bitcoin lies blockchain technology. To picture this, imagine there are two computers in the middle of a network of computers, all connected together. Now, let's say these two computers begin exchanging a Bitcoin for an item. Normally, if two people traded in person, there's a third party present, like a bank, who confirms each side is who they say they are. However, there are typically fees and less transparency attached to this method. But with Bitcoin, every transaction is recorded in a public ledger for everyone to see, creating a system with no secrets, just transparency. And transparency is Bitcoin's strength. With every transaction open to scrutiny, verification is straightforward and counterfeiting is virtually impossible. But how are new Bitcoins created? Enter the world of Bitcoin miners. These individuals use powerful computers to verify Bitcoin transactions. Their reward is new Bitcoins. However, as more Bitcoins are mined, the process becomes increasingly energy intensive, with one transaction consuming the same amount of energy the average household uses over 30 days. This relationship, miners investing time and resources and receiving Bitcoin, keeps the ecosystem System running. Currently about 19.6 million Bitcoins are in circulation, and only 21 million will ever exist. This is another benefit of Bitcoin. Similar to gold, there is a finite amount of Bitcoin. No government or governing entity can create more Bitcoin like they can with cash. Most are held as speculative assets or hedges against inflation. Whether Bitcoin will become a mainstream currency depends on its acceptance for everyday transactions. As Bitcoin's future unfolds, one question persists. Will it reshape the future of money or remain a speculative asset as more people look to Bitcoin as the new digital gold? Let us know your thoughts and if you found this video insightful and want to dive deeper into the technology that drives our world, subscribe to our channel.